Hi, I'm Richard Meyer, owner and chief technologist for Sensing Solutions and Controls. Obviously it's COVID, I would still like to visit you if possible, but I'll take this mask off because the camera is two meters away. We're located in Lee, New Hampshire. We solve process problems using our product lines. This may be an assembly process, a medical device process, or we also have expertise in high purity valve systems. Today I'm going to talk about Habenum, which does high purity, and is the actuator and valve line that I work with. Habenum's impact pressure booster is unique in the process valve world. I'm going to demonstrate showing the greater torque of this actuator using the same 70 PSI without and with this device. Now that pressure is applied and stable in the system, you can see that the torque of the shaft is about 18 foot-pounds. This is the torque available to overcome the closed forces of the valve. The Habenum actuator has several unique features that really set it apart from other actuators on the market. The small form factor is possible by four pistons providing rack and pinion force to a small hardened shaft. The shaft is more expensive to make, but the torque output enables the smaller actuator size. The springs are a significant part of the technology that are painted for protection and fit one inside of the other to facilitate a greater number of return forces within the same package size. The entire body is anodized and a double layer epoxy coating is applied for additional resistance in basically any environment. These actuators look good in the plant and promote a clean atmosphere that advertises good maintenance to employees and stakeholders. The air operating inputs come ready with both fittings and the Moore valves like I've demonstrated here. And I'll take this apart and demonstrate not only this Nemur valve, but also the impact spring assist as a way of boosting the torque with the same amount of air pressure. The actuator comes pre-adjusted, as you can see, with this rotation for a little more than a 90 degree actuation. The C20 actuator specifies two and a half pounds of spring return force, and I'm measuring about five. These screws, which are generously sized compared to the competition, adjust the exact amount of rotation. The outer collar rotates with the shaft, which protects the seal and shaft system much more than a cheaper washer design. So this is the method of installing the impact booster between the Nemur valve and the compact actuator. As you can see the ported air in and outlets are threaded and accommodate Nemur attachment. Screws are simple and of a robust diameter and thread. Once again applying the 70 PSI we see that the applied torque is now about 25 to 30 foot pounds. Fantastic! If there is a sticking valve, shop air problem, or incorrect sizing of the actuator during a maintenance function, the impact device may fix the problem. It will also get you out of the woods with other valve actuator manufacturers because of using the threaded ports or the mirror. When you order the impact device, I'd like you to get me involved so that we make sure to get metric or imperial components and get it specified correctly. This is a $60 solution to a vexing problem that is the hallmark of Habenum's design and dedication to the process valve industry. As the chief technologist of sensing solutions and controls, I am uniquely suited to assist with process issues such as this. I have held numerous certifications including certified pneumatics engineer by the National Fluid Power Association. For having them on other products, do not hesitate to reach out to us. I also encourage you to subscribe on our website. Uh, you will receive emails no more often than once a month when I highlight these products. Thank you.